In today's video, we are gonna cook the most awesome, crispy, and delicious fingerling potatoes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make my coating. I grew up in Spain where my grandmother would put olive oil and her seasonings in a big bowl, toss the potatoes, and they would come out crispy and delicious. So that's pretty much what we're doing here. I'm put some olive oil in my bowl. I'm gonna have some crushed garlic. Now you can use grated garlic, powdered garlic. Make sure you check the recipe direct right below this video for the amounts, of course. Olive oil, garlic, Italian seasoning to coat our potatoes, about a teaspoon of that. Some salt, you definitely wanna salt your potatoes. And some freshly ground black pepper. Okay, so with the fork, I'm just going to create this awesome coating that's gonna be tossed with my potatoes. Essentially, you just wanna disperse everything with the olive oil. Now, you could just toss the whole potatoes, but they're not all the same size. So what I like to do is half them, because that way the potato meat also gets coated with all of our seasonings, so good. Now, obviously, some potatoes need to be half lengthwise and sideways, just so the size is give or take the same and you don't find a hard potato around. Now, what will you serve with these fingerling potatoes? Well, let's see. Say you picked up a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. Now, all of a sudden, you have a meal. Now, you could also throw them on the same baking pan as your chicken if you were to roast a whole chicken at home, and then those potatoes would absorb all of the chicken uses. Now, that's really how my grandmother used to serve them. But um, in that case, if you're cooking protein along with them, you wanna maybe cook, leave them a little bit bigger. But for this case, they just make a great side. A lot of people wanna know if they can prep potatoes ahead of time, and I can tell you that there've been many times where I found sliced potatoes in my grandmother's fridge in a big bowl of water and then covered so that the potato didn't dry out. So if you are meal prepping for the week or following one of my meal plans, you know that I would give you tips like this. And if you have never heard of my meal plans, make sure you grab a free weekly plan. I'm gonna link it below this video so you can download five recipes, a shopping list, that meal prep sheet, and you get all of my tips in one PDF. So now that my potatoes are more or less the same thickness, I'm going to simply toss them with that awesome garlic olive oil. Now I wash my hands for this, but this is just gonna be amazing. You do wanna make sure that every piece is coated. This is the Spanish version of American garlic bread. We just eat these all the time as a side. So now I'm just going to spread these guys on a baking sheet. And evenly out. So in the oven, halfway through, give your vegetables a quick toss so they cook evenly in all sides. Put the pan back in, you're good to go. These smell so good, the garlic, the olive oil, the Italian seasoning. So make sure to grab the recipe in the link below the video. And while you're down there, hit that red subscribe button every single week. You and I get to cook together. See you next time.